a few YouTube videos will end up with many more views than McDonald's has ever sold burgers, says the Lord's Spirit of Prophecy. So let all those of love now embrace uh, Buddha's prophecy of the Holy One made by Aaron Messervy, uh, as well as the Big Picture Project on their uh, uh, Gastol channel, G-T-A-S-O-U-L. As all those of love obediently begin uh, bombarding their web pages to v visit their video called Buddha Prophesied Jesus, question mark. Know therefore that truth is not at hand for those forsaking a sound mind as they ignore this prophecy of Christ's love. Problem is, uh, ignorance reigns supreme in this world. Christians don't want to know nothing about Buddha, and Buddha people don't want to know nothing about Jesus, and truth gets lost in the middle. And so it came to pass that our dove of love foretold uh, the Lord's coming centuries, 700 years before he came. For that eagle of the eons is unceasing like the sands of time and as he releases the following truth absolute all followers of love will know that it's absolute gospel truth uh, as incredibility now explodes all over the circle of earth's awakening for prophecy is power ignited as an atom and it comes forth as a supernova uh, and the falling away of our falseness is what enlightenment has always truly been. And it also came very clear to see that the Holy Spirit came forth powerfully unto Buddha and gave him the following prophecy of Christ Jesus for a day far in the future when all boundaries of all religion are, are to be lowered uh, with uh, the coming of First John uh, 17. Uh, prayer of unity and with the manifestation of all kingdoms of man's imaginations being torn down in the latter days as it is written in Jeremiah one ten and Haggai 2.2 2. and so it's time that truth shall now be found for all those seeking it. Uh, Isaiah prophesied by his stripes we would be healed, but this is a far more accurate and greater prophecy than even Isaiah was blessed for. So let it, therefore every knee of every Buddhist and every uh, Christian and every person now bow unto Jesus Christ Almighty, the real Lord of love, who has no condemnation over anyone whose heart is as a little child because of the holy words uh, from that prophet of wisdom. Thus saith the dove of love unto all people of the world, through Buddha, uh, his prophet of the Orient. The Holy One is love for all people to embrace, he said. And so it came to pass that an old priest asked him a question. He asked Buddha, and how could anyone uh, follow all commandments and escape all of their sins, he was asked. So Buddha then answered, saying, even if you gave alms to the poor, donated gifts to the monks, even if you kept all the commandments until sin 5, sin 8, uh, sin 10, sin 100, 227, even up to sin 999 million, even if you lifted up your hands and worshipped and offered yourself as a burnt offering, and even if you prayed five times a day, you could still not save yourself from your sins. Uh, he, he was saying, you need a savior. Those are my words, but that's what he was saying. And then he said, if you did this every day, your good deeds would still be worth no more than a strand of baby's hair still in its mother's womb. Uh, such vain efforts would not even get you close to the gates of, of heaven, Buddha says. Your good deeds, uh, no matter how much you do, is worth so little. Sin cannot just be washed away and forgiven without any price. For the sins of humanity are many and heavy, and it is far heavier than the sky and thicker than the earth. It's thicker than a large granite stone used for burial, uh, one foot thick on every side. Imagine if an angel came down from heaven and gave that stone a sweep with a cloth once a year. 
I tell you, truly, truly, Buddha said, the day that such a stone completely erodes away is the day that man's sins would disappear. Buddha said, then I myself have left all my princely inheritance, uh, and I have abandoned lust, and I have become a monk. Uh, and uh, it doesn't matter, he was saying, uh, because in the end, the Lord has his way in the storm and the dust are but uh, clouds under his feet and vice versa. And so uh, he said this, he said that, that he could never uh, absolve even the, the tiniest sin. And so then, then he said, you will know the one who will come. So let all of you do a good deed uh, and look for him. Uh, who will save the earth. And when he comes to rescue our world in the near future, uh, you will see scars in his hands and scars in his feet like the shape of a, a sharp cutting wheel. In his side there will be a stab wound and in his forehead there will be a full uh, a blemish and scars. And that holy one will be like a golden vessel that will carry you across the cycle of suffering unto paradise. So do not pursue the old way, for you will certainly not escape uh, from your sins uh, without his blood over you, shed before the foundation of the earth. I have added those words. But Buddha said, and when you die, you will not come back unto this earth. So people, this is words that Buddha said that are carved on the inside of a uh, Buddhist temple and the Buddhists cannot and will not desecrate. So Buddha has uh, one up even on Isaiah. True story, I couldn't make